Okay guys, another YouTube video. I'm fairly new as you see. A couple gun reviews uh, and I thought I'd put my toys up here. I am uh, into Transformers mostly. I had a collection of like 48 Transformers. Uh, the original ones and sealed boxes sold them when the market was ex very high. Uh, beautiful collection but had to get get rid of them. Didn't have to but it was a good opportunity and, and uh, now prices have sunk down by half. They were pretty high uh, after that second movie came out. But and I said I wouldn't, you know, uh, get into a big collection again like that. And of course, I've tripled the collection. Obviously, this amounts to a very small amount of what I sold those 48 G1s for. Um, and my collection has expanded be from the Transformers to uh, uh, DC Universe here with a mixture of. Uh, uh, Masters of the Universe, got some of the repros there, box sets, I mean this over the last three years and uh, these are like triple stacked up there, the DC Universe, I mean they're just not the best out of my collection but they're still cool figures and stuffs and uh, and I do like Green Lantern so I got that going. I did collect uh, some more stuff from Maddie Collector like the Ghostbuster set with the Ecto-1 um, just a nice collection that's upstairs so uh, but a lot of Transformers here a couple reissues not real big on the Japanese uh, script and stuff so like a good friend of mine uh, I like English you know so uh, so I try and stick with the stuff that comes out here in the US so the Hasbro version and uh, so I got quite a collection here and uh, like I said, I expanded from my Transformers to uh, to a few other things. Back to the Future, one of the best movies ever. Uh, I do have a few other things. Star Trek, like Star Trek, but not a lot of stuff there that's worth collecting. Um, Thundercats, the originals were great, but uh, I did get the, the new stuff there. Um, Mask was awesome. Uh, of course, Kenner made kind of... I don't want to say crap toys for the most part. I've got a bunch of those little ice cream trucks there that thought might be worth something someday. Two robots and stuff. So, 50 million uh, cars or Mustangs. Uh, I'm in the Mustangs. It was 66, but uh, then I have the whole Harry Potter collection down there in those two c containers, the first issues. Um, and what else is kind of intertwined here? Those are the the brunt of it. The He-Man figures are pretty cool. The original ones, uh, which I didn't. Oh, I did get them over here. Um, there's one of the Zool from uh, Ghostbusters, Home Alone, love Home Alone movies. The first two anyway. A couple alternators sold my alternator set, other than the ones I opened back when I sold the G1s. Um, cars there so anyway for all you toy collectors um, good going keep up with it good luck it's a great hobby especially for us that didn't have many toys as you know growing up not that fortunate and now that we're in our 30s uh, some of you watching this video it's great to get toys and of course great to keep them new in the package whether you're doing it for an investment or just thinking you have new toys that you don't open so anyway um, I hope you like this video. I know, like I said, I'm new video taping and, and uh, it's not great, but kind of my makeshift room in the basement here uh, expanded a little bigger than I was planning on. And, uh, but it's kind of cool. So hopefully I'll keep this for a while and that's it.